Hello and welcome to the Thursday Pulpit for this Thursday, November 7th, 2024. I'm Brother Ricky Cothern along with you today and it is a great joy to greet you on the Thursday Pulpit. For more about our ministry here at GBI, I hope you'll go to gbiradio.org. I do want to tell you about an, an offer that I'm offering uh, during this time on our radio broadcast and I would offer it here on Facebook. I have seven messages uh, that are designed to inspire young preachers, pastors, and, and any preacher, really. It's called Peas for the Pulpit. And I have these seven messages available on CD recording, and I'd love to get these into your hands for a suggested love gift of $15 or more to the ministry. I will send these to you in a nice CD album. I'm going to take time to give you our ministry address here, and you can get these CDs called Peas for the Pulpit. I'd make a good Christmas gift. If you'd order them right now, we could get them out to you, and you could give, give them to somebody for Christmas. Our mailing address is Gospel Broadcasting, Post Office Box 797, Dobson, North Carolina, 27017. Now, during this month, I'm going to share with you a thought about Thanksgiving because, of course, the last Thursday in the month will be Thanksgiving. So if you have a Bible, I'm going to read several scriptures, or at least a few scriptures here uh, on our time together. I want to begin by reading Ephesians 3, excuse me, Ephesians 5, verse number 20. Giving thanks always to God. Uh, Well, I just messed up my reading, didn't I? Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse number 18, And everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. And then I also want to read another scripture in uh, the book of Psalms 100 and verse number 4. The Bible said, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise Be thankful unto Him and bless His name. Father, we thank You for this time together. I pray You'll help us in Jesus' name. Amen. In Ephesians chapter number 5, we are to give thanks for all things. Now the Bible said in Romans chapter 8 verse 28, All things work together for good to them that love God, to them them who are called according to His purpose. Now, we know that if we're saved and we're born again, and we love the Lord, and we live according to God's will, that everything works out for our good. But we are to thank the Lord for life. You know, we're not to go through life being bitter and being, uh, you know, uh, fighting against God's will, being bitter about that thing. We should go through life being thankful and having gratitude. Then in, in 1 Thessalonians Uh, Chapter 5 and verse number 18, And everything give thanks, for this is the will of God uh, in Christ Jesus concerning you. We're to give thanks for all things and then in things. You know, we're going to be faced in life with many different situations. If you have not yet, you will be. Life is full of ups and downs. I don't care what anybody tells you, the good times and the bad times. Now, we're to enjoy life. One doctor gave me some great advice many years ago. Eat good Sleep good and enjoy life. All right? And we should do that. That's what we ought to do. But there will be heartache in life. There are going to be trouble in life. There's going to be storms in life. Now, as a believer and as a born-again Christian, storms come in our lives to prove us, to test us, to make us stronger in the Lord. You know, the more steel is heated and tested, the stronger it is, right? And uh, the same way with, with, with God's work. The more we're... Uh, The more we are tested, the more we are uh, going through the fire, then the stronger we'll be for the Lord Jesus Christ. Many people, uh, when they go through a battle or trouble, uh, they do not wait upon the Lord for it. So, But we ought to thank the Lord as we're going through these things. All right, now, and, and we ought to be thankful. We ought to have an attitude of gratitude. You know, in our nation, we look around in our nation, our nation sure is in a lot of trouble today. But in our nation, we're lacking the idea of thankfulness. The Bible said in Psalm 100, verse number 4, that we're to enter into His gates with thanksgiving and and into His courts with praise. And then it said, Be ye thankful unto Him and bless His name. He said, Enter into His gates with thanksgiving and into His courts with praise. We're to go to the house of God with thankfulness. And then we're to be thankful. But you know, have you ever, uh, maybe a little kid, 
uh, you give him a dollar or you give him something. And nowadays, young people are not even taught to say thank you. I have given people things in life and they don't even turn around to say thank you. You know, we ought to always say thank you. I try to write when I go to a preach in a church. <clears throat> I have uh, my staff here to always write a thank you letter. Thinking that, it don't matter if I've been there a hundred times, I always send them a thank you letter. I want to have gratitude in my life. I want to be thankful. Now this month, I'm going to deal with that here on the, the Thursday pulpit. I want to deal with being thankful. And I want to ask you a question today. Are you thankful? Do you really thank God for what you have? Have you took time to bow your head and, and just thank the Lord? You know, the, the, the sayings often been, uh, people, and I'm not calling people this, but, but the sayings always has been like this, uh, like a bunch of hogs eating acorns, you never stop to look up. You know, I remember years ago, uh, in the fall of the year, uh, we'd go down and help Granny pick up acorns. And we'd pick them up in five-gallon buckets, and uh, we'd feed them to the hogs. They had hogs out behind the house. And, you know, it was not that hog's nature to look up and even see where the, the acorns were coming from. It just wasn't his nature. His nature was to just eat as fast as he could. As you could throw them in the trough, he could eat them. And unfortunately, that's what our society in America has become. Instead of thinking today, being thankful, we, we have a society now that feels like that people owes them things. It's, 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 this is my right. This is my right. This is my right. Do you know the church of Laodicea? That word is an interesting word. When you study the seven churches in Asia given to us by John in the book of Revelation, do you know that, that uh, he, he wrote unto the church of Philadelphia, the church of Thyatira, the church of Sardis, <clears throat> But he said unto the church of the Laodiceans. He didn't say to the church of Laodicea, and it could have been because there were more churches than one in Laodicea, but he said to the church of the Laodiceans. Now, if you study that word Laodicea, it means really, it means rights of the people. In other words, they owned that church. That was their church. And unfortunately, we're living in that day and hour in this day. We see it more now as churches, a lot of churches... Uh, you know, um, feel like that, that it's the church belongs to them. It's nothing about God. It's their church. They're, and they have no more than a religious a social club. I hate to say that. But the church is God's. And God's Spirit ought to be able to move. And God's direction. And not just, when I say that God's Spirit ought to be able to move, I'm not talking about emotional experience. I'm talking about direction from the Holy Spirit. But I'm saying this, that people want their rights today so therefore, they're not thankful. Uh, people are just not thankful about what they have. What, you know, young people, they never stop to think about what they have. Now, I was raised poor, and uh, we didn't have a lot. But you know, uh, it made us thankful for what we did have. I, I never asked uh, a, 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 a lot for Christmas because I knew Mom and Daddy couldn't give it to us. There's no need in putting a burden on them because they couldn't, they couldn't do it. But the Bible said for me to be thankful. If I'm a born-again believer, I should be thankful in all things. I should be thankful for all things. And I should go around with the attitude of being thankful. And I want to carry this thought on in the coming days. And I want to, during this month of November on the Thursday pulpit, I want to talk about being thankful. And you know what? Have the happiest people in the world, those of us and those of you who are thankful, always be thankful. Bow your head and thank the Lord. You know, on my prayer list, I've got a place uh, that, I, that I got wrote down, confess. And I confess my sin every day. Now, I've got a place on there I, I write down for thanks. Just thank God. Do you ever stop and thank God for what He does? When God does something great for you, gives you something, do you ever stop and thank the Lord for what He does? Well, I do want to carry this further. And we'll carry this on next week. I want to continue with this little series during the month of November on Thanksgiving. I hope you'll have a friend and neighbor tune us in. Uh, share the video, like the video, do what you have to do to get it out here on the Facebook, and I believe it'll be posted on the YouTube as well. Father, take the Thursday pulpit and use it now for your glory. Save that sinner this nearest hell. In Jesus' wonderful name I pray, amen.